Upgrades. Hey, what's going on out there, YouTube family? This is Sammy Lay here representing Team JVS. Back here again for another review for South by Southwest 2023. I'm talking about Dead Enders. I am not a horror fan like that. Um, that is Lucas's lane. I'm prefacing it like that up front. I have looked at some good horror series and horror films here and there. And this one reminded me of one that I actually really liked, uh, which was Tremors. Tremors, I thought, was actually a really cool little series um but the backdrop of this is you have a store clerk that is not caring about her life at all <laughs> she just wants to kind of laze around and she's also got another person that works with her he's been there for years and he's kind of like wondering like why are you still here you know why aren't you hanging out with friends she just doesn't care and so yeah you're both working at the gas station nobody's there it's the middle of the night and, you know, there's some oil drillers. They're drilling, they drill too too deep, and all of a sudden something terrible happens and people are getting killed left and right. <laughs> um, this thing I'll say about this short is that it takes luxuries from a lot of different themes of horror. Like whether it's like lighting, like if you think like Mandy with like the red, like there's a lot of vibrancy of like color, color grade and and different shots that are kind of like looking up or looking down. Um, and also even the way they the sculpt the creatures, like they're taking that away from like, like the face huggers of like aliens. Um, and then, like I said, Tremors, one of the things I found fascinating with Tremors is like, you never know what's gonna pop out, what's gonna happen. But they also add a weird little twist to this where it's, um, I wanna say the Tommy Knockers. I believe. Um, and so it's, it's a lot of the amalgam of all these different things together. But I think that this would be something for a horror purist. I think that they would appreciate the nuances and the poking fun and the certain things that are like point for point what you would expect from kind of a horror movie like this. Um, but for me, it did not. <laughs> I... I did not like the design of the creatures. I thought they were too on the nose. Uh, I kind of got behind the capability of the actress. I thought she had a really strong point. And also, like, I think that just having the clerk and her be there and not showing anything until the end would have been way more impactful. Uh, but instead, they kind of play with this trope of, like, something coming out and just, just it felt really cheap to me and it felt like too on the nose. I just could not get behind it, unfortunately. Uh, I really wish I could. I'd rest it at like a five or 4.5 out of 10. Um, let me know what you guys think of Dead Enders. I think that this would be something that Lucas would really love. I'd love to pick his brain about certain facets of what he thought about it. But I'll talk to you guys soon. Make sure you like, guys. Peace. Filing out the top of